Hey lovely people, the last tutorial that we did, we showed you how to create a simple registration form. We, we, we show you about grid layouts, labels, and inputs, as you can see here. Now, what we did, we, we, we designed the form, that means when we put in these names, James, we put in Brown, <clears throat> just lovers leap. And zip code is 876 when you press submit you see it comes out down here but what we're gonna do today in this episode we're going to learn how to insert this information into a database so if you want to learn about labels and inputs and grid layout you have to check the first tutorial on that and I will leave a link in the description below so before we do that just let let us to take this out so what we're gonna do we're gonna use SQL as a database so we're gonna say from no we're gonna say import sorry import SQL light all right now down at the bottom what we're gonna do right here we're gonna say connect equal sqlite dot connect and we're gonna put in the location for the database remember two backslash and our, our database is payroll.db now we are going to create a cursor so c sorry c is equal to con dot c u r s o beautiful so what we have done here in this in these two lines is that we have made a connection to our database now let's move on the next step is now to insert this information into our database. The first name, the last name, the address, and the zip code. So let's begin. We are going to create a variable called SQL. So SQL is equal to caps insert into the table that we're going to use is called registration as you can see here registration and the columns are f name l name address and zip so we're going to say insert into <coughs> registration sorry this is supposed to be common common letters registration and we're going to put in the columns the first column is f name the next one is l name the next one is address and the next one is zip so it is four columns as you can see in our database structure <clears throat> Then the values, we're going to enter the values in these columns. So we say volumes. Now pay special attention here. We're going to put, remember we have four tables, first name, last name, address, and zip. As you can see up the top. Now what we're going to do, we're going to enter question signs for the four values. That is one, two, three and four now so what this line d of code does is to say that look insert into registration the table the first name the last name the address and the zip and the values now down here we're going to create another variables and we're going to call it my data so my data is equal to 
Remember, these variables are what we're going to put in the data. So, in my in my in my data. So let's go ahead. First one is F name, comma, L name, address, and zip code. Now, after we've created variables, what we're going to do now, we're going to insert these variables into this table, which is the registration. So let's go ahead. So we're going to say C. Remember, at the top here, we create the connection and then we create the cursor. C dot execute. And we're going to put and then we're going to put my data after that we're going to commit then we're going to close our data database now let's run it and see if it works so running and running and running and running it takes a little time to come up with visual studio code we're up so let's put in the first name it is james last name it is brown and remember brown lives at lovers leave and the zip code is 876 now let's press the submit button and see what happened Wow, we have a. I think I've spelled the execute wrong here. So let's make the corrections and move on. So it should have been C dot. Well, my mistake here. C dot execute. I'm going to execute SQL. What we're going to execute is the SQL variables and the my data variables. Beautiful. So commit down the bottom here, and we're going to commit it here. So let's see if our code works. Running and running and running. So it is. James Brown, Lover's Leap, and the zip code is 876. So let's see. Now let's see if the information was entered in our database. So let's refresh. Yes, because I pressed it three times, it enters in the database. So it is James Brown, Lover's Leap 876. And we can try another one. We can say Mary, Jane. She lives at the Avenue 876. Let's see. Wow, I pressed it more than once. But what we can do is that let's clear this. After we have entered our data, we're gonna clear we're gonna clear our text input box. So we can say self. Elf self dot f name 
dot text is equal to that would do the trick just to make sure we have the right variables there beautiful so again we can go here and copy it down it is one two three four so the first the, the, the next one is L name the other is address and the next one is I think zip code now let's clear these out and run our program once more and the next one is Harry let's, let's put in this information Harry Sinnott Harry lives at James Avenue zip code 876 now let's see if our code works beautiful so the information clears whenever we enter the data in our database now make sure that it is in our database now let's look yes Harris Summit James Avenue zip code 876 and this 876 zip code is the Jamaica zip code thank you for watching this tutorial